But this could be a big fish, guys. Yo, what's going on, guys? Chiefs here, and today we're gonna be having some pretty simple fun. We are gonna be bottom bouncing skein chunks for coho, king, and steelhead. Should be pretty fun. The numbers are pretty good right now, and I hooked up on a good amount of fish yesterday, so I definitely felt comfortable recording a video today. So I'll give you guys a brief overview of the rig that I'm gonna be running, and hopefully we get into some fish. It should be a pretty good day. Oh, he inhaled that. Nice, let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Skein. First coho of the year in the bag. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. Six, seven, eight pounder right there. Or probably, probably five, six pounder. It's a dimer, look at that. Oh, here he is. What's up, dude? What's up? Can I try to pick? Yeah? What about you? No, you want a hook? Sure. All right, give me a second. It's a waiting stick. All right, here, dude. It's your lucky day. Go. There's two. I'm giving you two. Okay. All right, don't mess up. You better catch one, okay? I'm trying. You have to get one. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay, can you grab onto that? Yeah. Thank you problem no way help that kid he's like stuck like everyone's just fucking staring at him like here's something else dude <laughs> holy crap this is a big fish dude this has got to be a king it's fighting like Dude. Dude, this could be a big fish, guys. Fish on, guys. Fish coming down. Yo, fish on, big fish. Really big fish. I think it's a big king. Oh, they don't struggle, they want to Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Hold up, guys. Oh, my God. Why are you casting? I just don't get it, man. You want to bring some over here? I cut my life. See that it's whatever it is it's pretty big. Not entirely sure what the species is, but it is a big fish. Do you want to try? Here, can somebody hold? Yeah. Pull. Be careful, okay? Thank you. Do you mind getting my picture? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Big king. Put it under the water. Put it under the water.
you. Oh wow, yeah, that's a really nice one. It's a hen too. Yep. Man, that's exactly the fish I want tonight. Freaking dimer, man. <laughs> and it's a hen. There's one. Hammered it. Yep. Fish on. Uh oh. This might be a Skamania. Did you see the way it's free? What is it? Here, I'm going over you. Oh, it's a Big lake brown. run. That's a huge brown. You did? Dude, no way. I can't believe I caught this. Dude, this is my first ever if I get it. No way. Yeah, I'll try to swing it that way. Oh, he's right there. He's surfing, he's surfing, he's surfing. No way. Dude, he inhaled it. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. Dude, yes. All right, let's baby this fish, but oh my God. Here, here, here. Try to keep her wet, try to keep her wet. Uh, we're slower water. Do you want to try to set it in this pool right here behind me? Yeah, there we go. Right here is better. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me? Here, don't pick it up like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Keep her in the net. You said you're a sub? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah, dude, this will be in that video, 100%. Here, do you want to take my GoPro? Yeah. Here, I got it. It's, it's already recording. Here, we'll keep the net in. We'll get this lake run brown we just got, guys. That's a natural fish, too. See that apple spin? Let's get the release on her. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown on the rig that I was running in this video right here. As far as our rod and reel go, we have a 2500 Stratic. We have got a nine foot six Fenwick HMX, medium moderate action, covered in skein and looks absolutely disgusting. And as far as our main line goes, we're just gonna be running some Brave. It's gonna be 20 pound Power Pro. This is what the rig looked like guys. So basically for the rig, we have ourselves here a size five crane swivel which one of the ends goes to my main line. And then I set, tie a separate leader with a dropper weight. This is probably, I mean, they really range. It depends on the river you're fishing or the current you're gonna be in. But um, I, I ran 10 inches in this video. We have a half ounce egg weight sinker. And then I tie a completely separate knot for my main leader. So I try to like not have them connected. Some people like to just use their tag end on their main leader and tie it to that you can do that but um you know it at least gives your odds you either snag one or the other instead of busting fully off so that's my logic on it and yeah so as far as this goes too also i'm running a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader we've got about three feet right here i the bead was kind of optional i put it on and off in this video but we've got a seven millimeter bead right here with the clear peg and about three inches below it we have a snell knot attached to a size four trout bead hook and I was mostly just running skein in this video, guys. This is at least my preferred way to fish it. A lot of the people there are kind of bottom bouncing and flossing a lot of their fish, snagging it. And um, I just don't find that very ethical. At least when you use a bait approach, you do know that they are taking the bait. They are biting. Cool thing about the snell knot though, if you guys don't know how to tie a snell knot, look into it. Maybe I'll make a video or something about it. Um, it's just my lazy egg loop because you, you honestly bust off a lot here. But basically what happens is you put your skein in this little loop right here. And when you pull your leader tight, 
it acts as a cradle for your bait. So pretend my finger is the skein right here. And yeah, it basically just holsters your bait. And that's pretty much it, guys. This was the rig I was running. Again, about a 10 inch dropper weight right here with a half ounce egg weight sinker. Got about a three foot leader right here to a bead, snell knot to a size four hook. Pretty standard. You can use this for all bait. You can use it for skein. You can use it for, honestly, if you wanted, you could use night crawlers. You could use spawn sacks. I mean, really any kind of bait if you guys wanted to. But um, that's a brief overview of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and want to support the channel, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to turn the notifications on next to this sub button. There's like a little alert thing. Um, it'll just alert you when I upload videos and stuff like that. So if you guys want to support the channel, do that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, got something out of this, or just found it entertaining. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.